young boy kneels down to pray with his mother in his room while his dad and grandma are downstairs in the living room. The young boy goes, Lord, I pray for a new train set, a remote control car, and a new bicycle! The mother goes, son, you don't have to yell. God's not deaf. The young boy replies, I know, but grandma is. Well, Diesel. Well, Diesel. It's another sad day. I'm leaving for my Arctic gig in Saskatoon now, and Diesel's staying here. You'll be in good hands. Yes. You'll be in good hands. Oh, you're shivering. Diesel, you should go into your nice warm house. Go in your house. Go in your house there. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. <laughs> Those are my chocolates, hey. <laughs> so yeah, we're off to Saskatoon. And uh guess we better get going. Set our goodbyes and shed a few tears and whatnot. I'm just kidding. Diesel wouldn't cry. He said, like, get out of here. I don't need you. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you on the road. Okay, we are ready to leave for Saskatoon Snowmobile Show. Almost ready. There's our trailer. You see it? You see it? You see it? There it is. We gotta hook onto it and pull it with us. It's not a show without the snowmobiles. Oh, so we're gonna hook onto this trailer here right now, and uh, after we're done in Saskatoon, we're gonna deliver these sleds to a dealer who's gonna sell them in Alberta, and then I'm bringing the trailer back to Thief River Falls and bringing a deck load back home that's the whole plan my whole week planned down to a T weird and ah oh, there it is there it is all oh, right we're on our way here just in Headingley Manitoba and we're gonna go to Plan J fill us up with some diesel fuel and some diesel exhaust fluid Add blue, whatever you call it, wherever you are. Now we're all fueled up. We can make it to Saskatoon. We're still eight hours away from there, so we're gonna get there later tonight. Pretty much just in time to do up the video and go to bed in the hotel. Gonna be staying uh, the Sandman Inn. Oh, why is there always such a long lineup? Always a lineup. Always a lineup understand oh just leaving the flying J here now finally I'm surprised the Sun is still up it is amazing how long it takes some people to fuel their trucks I fuel one side, go around, check all the tires. Fuel the other side, go around, check all the lights. You know, you're supposed to do that, but some people just like take ages. Turn left on one. And this guy in front of me opens up his cubby door. He's pulling out tools. He's working on his trailer in front of me while I'm waiting for him. And then he remembers, oh yeah, I need DEF. So he goes and fuels his DEF, pulls out some more tools, starts working on his truck. Now I'm getting frustrated, I get out and I like, I was looking at him like, you gotta go, man. He sort of waves at me friendly and I thought that he was, you know, gonna move. Oh no, he goes, opens up his hood, checks his oil, pulls out some other tools, tinkering around under his hood, right in the pumps. What are you doing? No, no, that is not the spot to do all your little mini repairs spot something that needs to be repaired you pull into a parking spot and do it there wouldn't you agree especially when someone's waiting behind you oh look at that funny looking ambulance in front of us those are the new ambulances coming out here in Manitoba what are they Dodge Sprinter Dodge something interesting apparently there's more room in those than the old ones the big wide ones 
Who knew? I don't know, I don't know if I clicked record fast enough so you can see me, but I mean, see the ambulance. But, yeah, like you can see, there's nothing to see here really, so I won't show you much. This is Western Manitoba. We're getting close to Brandon. And we're in a rush. Apparently, we're unloading this trailer tonight yet in Saskatoon. We did not know this was going to happen. I was planning on getting in there around 7 or 8 in the evening. Ah, yeah, park the truck, go relax. Oh, no. Nope. They were expecting us there today, so... Even Arcticat didn't know that. Uh, no one passed the memo along to us. You know, the people who are actually bringing all the stuff. But that's okay. I mean, I would have left earlier. Now I feel a little bad, but I didn't know. So they're there waiting for us. And uh, when we get there, we're just going to quickly get everything off the trailer and then head to the hotel and set everything up tomorrow. So apparently, we don't got a dock for tomorrow. Oh, well, apparently, it's not in Articat Town. They didn't reserve us a dock. Oh, well. Well, you know you're in Saskatchewan when. Look at this beast of a thing. No, not the pickup. This thing. Look at that. That's, I mean, they're clipping along pretty good, too. That's a little bit big for the highway, don't you think, there, buddy? I don't know. Trans Canada Highway, and we're fighting with farmers for road space. New world needs farmers just like they need truckers, just like they need doctors. Oh, nothing to see, nothing to see. We're an hour from Regina, yay! Four hours, no, three and a half hours from Saskatchewan. Almost at Saskatchewan. Western Canada. But there sure is nothing out here. Absolutely nothing. As far as you can see, nothing. Crazy. So picture nothing in your head right now. Just get a good picture of what you think nothing would look like. There's less than that here. Good miles driving through here though. I mean, you get paid good because everything's so far apart. It's like five cities on the prairies and they're all six, eight hours apart. like without money? There's a question for you. Alright guys, and that's the end of the day and we're in our hotel room again. It's very fancy. But I want to ask you what's up with this. Okay, I'm going to turn off the lights. I want to show you something. What is up with this? Every time I turn on the lights in a hotel room? What's with the like Sporadic, like, yeah, 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 yeah. You see that? Let's go into the bathroom and I'll show you the same thing in here. Ready? Watch this. It was the same thing in the other four Sheraton in Edmonton. Weird. So we are in the Sandman Hotel in Saskatoon. <laughs> it's not nearly as nice. <laughs> Edmonton was a lot nicer, so here's the tour of this one. This is the door where we come in. If we were to go out of our hotel room, this is what it would look like. I know they're renovating. They're renovating. It's like we're living in a construction zone. I hate construction zones. Whatever. Whatever.
here's our bathroom. Okay, so we walk into our hotel room, right? A little evacuation procedure plan. <clears throat> Hopefully we won't, we won't need that. And boom, we go into our bathroom. Not nearly as nice as the last hotel, right? But it's still nice. I never got my shaver here all ready to go because I need to shave my scruff. Oh, go right there. Bathtub there. So there you go. There I am. How you go? How you doing? So this room isn't as fancy, but it still has a lot of mirrors. There's another mirror. But uh, yeah, instead of having a separate bedroom in this room, I sort of like this idea better because this is more of a hotel room to me. There's a bedroom right here. Right? There's a bed. And there's the TV. It's not that big of a TV. What is this? Like a 32 inch, 30 inch? And instead of having a closet, it just has a wardrobe. Right in here. And there's an ironing board and an iron. Again, just in case. Just in case. You never know. You never know when a man needs to iron his shirts. How did this thing fit up here? What in the world? Fine. Still like that. Crazy thing. And a little thing hanging there. This extra blankets and stuff. Cool. So, it's got the same stuff as the four Sheraton, but still not as cool. And guess what, guys? Remember that seat? I thought it was a seat last time. Boom! <gasps> Look at this. Mmm! This hotel has one too. And it's for my bag. Keystone Western. It's not a seat, it's for your luggage. Who knew? Who knew it was for your suitcase and your luggage? Man, this country boy is living in style in the big city. And here you got a coffee table and computer there. I'm gonna be uploading this video right away. So I'll picture up there and picture up there and let's look out the view of my window. I don't have a separate bedroom in this one, but there you go. That's the view. Hello, Saskatoon. Saskatoon! That's what you look like. So that's the hotel, guys. That's all I have to show you. And that's the day. Hanging out with uh, Kenny Laborski again. And uh, he's a great guy to work with. I love working with this guy. I love hanging out with him. Uh, he's also runs his own DJ business. Um, his own Facebook page, Kickin' K-Dog Entertainment, right? Or is it K-Dog Entertainment? I'm going to get that right and tell you tomorrow. Anyways, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. This is my hotel room. This is all mine tonight. Me, myself, and I. Hope you have a good night, and I'll catch you tomorrow.